Hi guys, it's Carol. How are ya? I'm pretty good. In that video about things you might want to have for cold and flu season, I forgot to say, go to Dollar Tree. Get one of these little uh, trash cans. It's not very big. It's the size of my hand. But you could put a grocery bag in there. The sick person can put their Kleenexes directly in their own personal trash can. Pick it up by the handles and go toss it so nobody else ever has to pick up their Kleenexes. Uh, and I'm sorry it was 30 minutes long. I had so much stuff. <laughs> uh, and another thing I wanted to say. You know what? As we get older, it's hard to buy gifts for elderly people or older people. If you need to buy a gift for your grandma or your parents if they're older, possibly you could ask if they would like to have a care box full of things they might need if they got a cold or the flu. Because things like that are expensive for us on limited incomes and they might really appreciate a care box with some Kleenexes in it and and uh, some Vicks Vapor Rub and stuff like that. You know, you don't have to get every single thing I had on my list, but they might really appreciate that. So there's another idea for you. Now I'm going to put in the recipe for this chicken noodle soup. Casey and I made it together yesterday. Um, and it's really good. But I'm have, I love soups. And I've made a lot of different kinds of soups. But I tell you, that video I did about the lasagna soup... I think that is my all-time favorite soup. The only thing I would do different is when I put the meat, we had some hamburger, mostly Italian sausage. When I was browning that with the onion, I would put in some diced bell pepper to it. And then the lasagna noodles are kind of awkward to eat with a spoon. So next time, we would put in maybe spiral macaroni. would make it easier to eat. But I thought that soup was absolutely wonderful with the French bread. Very hearty meal. And um, I didn't add up what it will cost, but we got at least eight servings. So if you... You want to try a really good soup, try that lasagna soup I made it a video or two back. It was awesome. Okay, here comes a really good chicken noodle soup. And so simple to make. Okay, guys, here it comes. I forgot to show you the bananas yesterday. This is the only chicken noodle soup recipe you'll ever need. Um, I got it from Pinterest. It came from thefrugalgirls.com, and I agree with them. This is pretty darn good soup. They say it takes 15 minutes prep time, 40 minutes cook time. I think that's about right. The ingredients are 8 cups of chicken broth, 3 cups of cooked shredded chicken, a third a pound of linguine noodles. We used half a package. We like a lot of noodles. So we had more like 8 ounces of noodles. Um, you need one cup finely chopped onion, a cup of peeled and thinly sliced carrots, a half a cup of very thinly sliced celery, two tablespoons of butter or some cooking oil, three bay leaves, a half a teaspoon dried thyme, a teaspoon of black pepper, and salt if you want to add it, but honestly the chicken broth is always salty enough for me. We never add salt. Anyway, here, Casey was doing this. She was sautéing the celery, the carrots, and the onion. And then she added in that um, eight cups of chicken broth. Brought that to a boil. Added the linguine noodles. The chicken, the bay leaf, the thyme, and a little bit of pepper. Stirred all of that up really good. Brought it back to a boil. Reduced it to a simmer. Covered it. And let it cook for about 20 minutes. Oh, it was good. This looks like a pukey green color. No, no, no. That's my camera. It was really a pretty color. Yellow. So, so good. If you wanted to do this in the crock pot, you could put your broth and seasonings 
um, your sauteed veggies, put those in the crock pot and put it on low for an hour or two or three and let the seasonings marry and then cook your noodles and add to it before you serve it. But this was so simple to do. Anybody could make this soup. Okay, guys, I think that's it for today. Hope you are doing good. Leave me a comment, please. Oh, the recipe called for a rotisserie chicken, but you know, if you cook your chicken like I do in the crock pot, shred it and put it in the freezer, you can do that. That's what we used. I love having cooked shredded chicken in the freezer. These have not been in the bag. These have been in the bag. I'm thinking I sure am glad I didn't pay $27.99 plus $2.69 shipping for this banana bag. I'm glad I paid to whatever. Uh, I don't see that it's doing a thing. But now this may be me because I, I read that I was supposed to put the bag of bananas in the refrigerator. And I didn't do that because I didn't want my everything in my refrigerator to smell like banana. Just standing here that my... I smell banana, you know, extremely strong, and I don't want that in my refrigerator. But after this batch of bananas, I will put the next batch in the fridge. We'll see. Well, that was it for today, guys. I hope you're doing well. I hope you never need all the box of cold stuff or chicken noodle soup because you're sick. But, you know, better to be prepared. You know, that Boy Scout motto. I'll talk to you in tomorrow's video. I think it's going to be about making home homemade fried corn. Okay, bye.